Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Thank you again for your feedback and your company here. Lorna Joy on Facebook saying, sometimes it's okay to feel discouraged, but God will always send you uh, Shekaniahs to encourage you. And you said there, thank you, Jacob Jackfu, for always being an encouraging brother. I have Dedan Juguna also watching from Gilgil. Shout out to you as well. I do appreciate you. Dan Mokorino Wakiandutu, you're watching the show as well. Thank you for the compliments and kind words there too uh let me refresh this here iman james um thank you for watching all the way from mombasa i have owen kiprono as well and mudoni kamau thank you very very much as well for watching the show remember you can also reach me on our sms line and uh, there i have a, a number of comments let me just uh, touch on those quickly um someone here i just said good morning to us tuned in kamakawa mercy from keru you're also tuned in asante sana for the compliments um kari glory from chuka university says i'm really learning a lot from ezra and these bible expositions help us a lot thank you and keep up with the work thank you very much for that um jill from nairobi you say you're enjoying the show i also have fred kirugo uh you say hello god bless his powerful words and joyce's platform at switch thank you thank you very much for that you guys I really do appreciate you. Please keep your feedback coming in to triple one triple four triple one. You can also comment on our Facebook page at Switch TV Kenya, uh, also on Twitter at Switch TV Kenya, and on Instagram at Switch TV Ke. Right now, though, we want to switch gears and jump into our next topic, and uh, we want to hear from uh, an ECD teacher—that's Early Childhood Development uh, teacher who has now turned herself into a self-made millionaire. And uh, my guest in studio is Shiko Waweru, who's a businesswoman, a farmer, an entrepreneur, and founder of Lima Vest. Karibu sana to the show. Asante sana. Thank you so much for having me. Great to yes, have you, and is. congratulations on all of your success so far. Thank you so much. Um, I, I want us to hear a bit about your 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 life and your transition okay um so you are a trained ecd teacher yes but you never actually got to practice it i actually did you did yes okay yeah for a while or uh, for a while okay for almost two years okay yes so at what point did you then consider this switch or what happened that you then decided to leave that aside and, and jump into business and entrepreneurship Oh, I, I got married mm -hmm. and then I have I had a child mm -hmm. and I wanted to focus on bringing up my child. Okay. I was a stay home mom for a very long time. Okay. And then it's during that time I tried a different business that didn't really work. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, it's during that time that I, uh, I decided to do different businesses uh, that eventually got me to Lima Vest. Okay, yes. Tell us what Lima Vest <coughs> is all about. Okay, L Lima Vest is a real estate company that, that sell land. We sell our land in Malindi. Mm -hmm. So our land come, we just don't sell land. We help our client utilize the, the land by, by planting pineapples, okay. which gives you a return. Okay. Yes. Pineapples in Malindi. Yes. I don't know. I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> I know so many people. Uh, have, so many people don't think that uh, pineapple growing in, in Malindi, but they actually do very well. Na nizile tamu. Nizile tamu. Like alafu. ones from UG. Hey, ni tamu alafu. It's organic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So mm. you're trying to help people actually utilize their land because it's true. Many people will buy land mostly for speculation purposes. Exactly. So they let it sit, but then it's just sitting there. Yes. And you're saying you come out and help them actually you, farm yes, pineapples. Yes. How has that been going? It, it's been good. And, and since most people are from Nairobi and far from Malindi, what I, we do, we, we manage for you. Okay. Because I know, like, uh, you maybe you're far away. You you you're busy with what you you do. So we manage for you. We we get the market for you, and then your work is just to re receive your your income. Okay. Yeah. So um, what sort of uh, farming scale are we talking about? Is this like large scale or? Yeah, it's large scale. Uh, our current project is a hundred acres. Okay. Yes. So you subdivided that and people have bought from that. Yes, we've subdivided it to one one acre so you can buy a minimum of one acre per person. A minimum of one acre per yes, person. Yes. When did you begin this? Uh, actually, we began this year. 
Okay. Yes. Um, and uh, how, how has been the uptake, especially in a year with Corona? Uh, we, we began in the beginning of the year, around February. We were so excited to do the business. And then the Corona came and then every, people like kind of shied <laughs> mm -hmm. from, the, the, from, from investing in land. Uh, but, I, but I thank God uh, now people are coming back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, talk to us about those who... Because you've said in your experience you've tried many different businesses. Mm. Uh, not all of them, you know, worked out pretty well. And I'm mm. sure there's many people who can sort of relate to that story. Mm -hmm. um, are there any sort of lessons that you drew from that time? Is there anything you look back on and you're like, hey, no, under that didn't work out. Or, you know, so that as it informed now Lima Vest, yeah. I'm sure you've drawn lessons yeah. to, to help this one work out. Yeah, uh, one of the one of the business I, I tried a couple of business, but in transport like Uber, mm -hmm. I was one of the first people who tried the business. Mm -hmm. uh, we al I also did uh, uh, farming in Kinangop. Okay. And one of the lessons I learned from Kinangop, uh, doing uh, farming in, Kin in Kinangop, we can do telephone farming, mm -hmm. and that's why with my client I took the responsibility of managing the farm myself okay yeah okay mm. so does that mean for malindi you're based in malindi now yeah most of the time uh most of the time i'm there and then we have a farm manager we have workers who make sure that there's something going on every day okay yes so as far as a farming business the lesson there is that telephone farming will does, not work it will not work why what was happening uh because you will ask people uh wha what's going on they will be t will telling you they're planting or weeding and actually when you go there you realize that's not what is happening mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. so you have to be there to make sure what's supposed to be done is done okay yes what about your uber business how comes that didn't work out i think a lot of people sort of especially because you were one of the first ones in yeah a lot of people would have assumed that that would have worked out and many people sort of look to it if you can get the capital mm. you know to get in they mm -hmm. look to it as somewhat reasonable like you can make something uh i think we, okay at the beginning the business was amazing but uh i think well, with time the market became saturated and for me it was not making business sense and then considering i had taken uh i had taken cars from other people Okay. Yeah. So I was making very little. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then the damages. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um I understand you've partnered with other stay-at-home moms who have some sort <coughs> of interest in farming. Uh not really partner, but that's where the idea came. I was a stay-home for almost like uh, 9 10 years. And that's when I was trying the small small business and then I thought of a stay-at-home mom like me who will be home, who want to create time and bring up their children and uh, at the same time make something. That's where the idea came from. Mm. Yeah. So I thought if I, 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 I th uh, the idea came from a, uh, from a stay-at-home mom like me who will want to make an extra uh, cash. Yeah. Yeah. At the same, so, so if I manage for you, you'll be able to make uh, something. Okay. And also you'll be able to take care of your children. All right. Yeah. So uh, let's say now I, I've decided I'm going to invest with you in Malindi. Mm. How much am I looking at, you know, for buying that one acre? Because oh. you've said it's a minimum of an acre. Mm, for, okay, we, uh, it's 360,000 shillings per acre. Okay. Which comes... Where in Malindi is this? It's in a place called Chamari. Okay. Yeah. So the three, for 360,000 shillings, uh, the land comes planted with pineapple. Okay. Uh, and the management uh, and the market. It's all inclusive? It's all inclusive. And then from the second year, that's when we charge you for management. And that's approximately how that's much? That's 60,000 per year. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how much uh, is can one expect to earn from their... Are you uh, selling the pineapples, you know, collectively? And yeah. then you divide by those who have... Uh, plots or is it that your acre yours only managed <laughs> <laughs> so what happened <coughs> uh, uh, so we we sell according to your it depends like okay because 
uh, different clients have come in different timing. So with yours, uh, for pineapple, for, for those who do not know, pineapple take 18 months mm -hmm. to grow. Mm -hmm. So after 18 months, you get your first harvest. And then from the second harvest, it will be like yearly, yearly, yearly. Okay. So for for or to answer your question, uh, the return will be approximately two hundred shillings. Ah, no, sorry, two hundred thousand shillings per year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. And it would be good to see how uh, this business works out. Of course, uh, COVID clearly has disrupted things yeah. uh, quite a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, I want to thank you very much for coming on to the show today yeah. and sharing mm -hmm. a bit of your story with us. And just even to encourage moms out there or yes. people who've been out of work for a very long time, yeah. whether it's been to stay at home with kids or just otherwise, yeah. um, that it's possible to, you know, pick up again and yeah. get out there and do things exactly. once again. Exactly. Yes. All right. Do you have a page? Or something people can follow you on? Yes, we are okay. Our offices are two rivers, mm -hmm. first floor, southern towers. Okay. And we can reach us on Instagram, uh, Limavest underscore, or you can call us on 0710 519 mm -hmm. 686. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on to the show, Shiko. Yes. And uh, well done to you. We wish you well. Thank you so much for having me. You're most welcome. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to take a break. And uh, when we come back, it's going to be time for our second hour of the show. Still lined up for you. We're going to be talking about an uprising talent search music competition, nail art, as well as our cooking segment as well. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. Also, comment on Facebook and Twitter at Switch TV Ken Kenya, on Instagram at Switch TV KE, and I'll see you at the top of the hour. Hey, hey, hey. 